What is up, guys? Today we have a review of the wearable app uh, together with uh, Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic based on One UI 6. Finally, it's arrived, and all the updated version of wearable app also arrived. So, as you see on my watches, I have One UI 6, and it's based on Android 14 and VRS version 5.0. So the latest one and security update from October 2024. So let's check it out. What kind of updates it will bring and what kind of settings we have in wearable app here. Let's go one by one. So I, I've got Galaxy S23 Ultra here with uh, Galaxy Watch. It works really perfectly. And as you see here, the update is the screen. Now I see the screen of uh, my watches here and the watch face, how it looks like exactly same as it uh, on my watches, as you see here. Actually, all the uh, settings are reserved here as well. That is nice. We have the uh, battery here and the battery life in days or hours. Uh, let's go next. Uh, also, we have this quick uh, settings section. We have the watch faces here. Let's turn on Wi-Fi to check it out. We have some new faces, of course. Uh, analog active here, fresh feed feature. Uh, interpret so we have some new one watches here and as you see variety of them is really huge and uh, it's all free here also you can browse by keywords you can uh, find more in uh, a play store if you click on it so you have much much more of them and this is just uh, built in uh, from samsung for free here uh, you can also add your favorite one or share them between uh, your friends or others Okay, so here you can customize it, quick switch it. For example, this watch face is new for the One UI 6. As you see here, it has some pre-made uh, features. They look completely different, almost completely different, let's say, but you can select out of them or customize your own color font. Uh, actually, you can do whatever you want. Background, complication of the colors here. You can select uh, up to your preferences, what you really like. Uh, also, all this uh, customizable uh, watch face characteristics here. And actually, all of them have similar features and similar settings here. And let's move on with the second one. Also, search button appears here. Uh, and let's move on with app screens. So, just main uh, bar here, main menu. You can change uh, between the apps here, move them. Also, you can uninstall or open the app settings and check it out. For instance, smart thing here. You can check the storage, uh, uh, occupation, memory used in last three hours and battery. Let's check out, for instance, WhatsApp app. So zero. Let's check other health. Um, it's occupying not that much memory. You can force stop it here and all the others also available. Uh, tiles, it's also, they have some new tiles, you can manage them very quickly here. And for the One UI, you have uh, clock tiles updated, as you see how it looks like, really nice. You have the dual clock now, and the work clock also changing, depends on the day or night. Uh, connected devices, contact, maps, Samsung Health extended here, Samsung Health Monitor, Schedules, Smart Things, Weather, WhatsApp and YouTube Music, all of them available as the tiles and as you see what I used pre-installed here. Also you can move uh, them on left and right which will appear uh, closer. Okay, cancel and quick panel. It's same as here, just quick settings. Uh, from this perspective, I don't see that much changes here. Some icons changed. And as you see available buttons, it's very normal, like mode, sound mode, turn off, volume, and here you have what I really use. So these four settings are the fast settings. Let's move on with the full settings, watch settings, modes. So you can see the modes with your phone. I use it, for example, driving. When I uh, open my car, it's connected by Bluetooth automatically and has some presets based on driving and those presets translated uh, and uh, to my watch. Uh, notification, so here is where regular app notifications show for, for notifications on watch, mute notifications on phone if needed, since do not disturb mode with phone, also use it as feature quite often, and some advanced notification settings including show with details, uh, uh, new notification indicator on watch, 
auto turn on watch notification for new phone apps, etc. Read notification allowed, I don't use it. Uh, let's move on, sound and vibration. So here I always put them on vibration mode, no need any sound here, so you can select even what kind of vibration you will get. Uh, although the volume can be set it up, ringtone and notification sound as well, I use silent. Uh, although we have vibration, different uh, duration and different intensity um, and even different tones of vibration can be selected. For example, simple, zigzag, basic. Now I feel both of them. So, for example, I will use zigzag here. Uh, system sound, I although disable it, you can have early shim even so it will notify each hour. Uh, for you display so here adaptive brightness always on actually no settings no settings here rise to wrist to wake touch screen to wake turn bezel to wake screen timeout 15 seconds 30 and one minute uh, show last app when 20 seconds turn on so actually i would like to have this option to be disabled for example if i don't need to show the last app and always when i lock it and unlock i want to see the lock screen or is it just menu so I really like to have this option to disable but it's not available unfortunately here uh, touch sensitivity so it will work while wearing the gloves I don't need as well show charge information show battery level till full also don't use it let's move on with the battery life so you have here sleeping apps indication here which apps you have installed and they just relax and let's say uh what i usage from the since the last charge one and a half hour uh, and in the percentage although power saving mode can be available so in this case uh, turn off wake up gesture always on display wi-fi leave it cpu usage background network usage location sensing decrease brightness screen time timeout uh, although you can limit the say as uh, features of health and in this case uh, you will have even more power saving actually i don't know i just use it regular recharge every day but for two days it will be enough they advertise four days here in this mode so you can try it out if you need it buttons and gestures so here have double press uh, action you have press and hold action short press action double pinch like this so that's uh, actually a uh, new feature available when you uh, touch fingers like this it will make some actions shake to dismiss knock knock although available double pitches like this as i mentioned before you can answer the call dismiss alerts scroll through notification play or pause music and take pictures so this is quite nice feature and i guess in the future it can be developed more and have much more usability in the nearest updates all right let's move on health features here heart rate every 10 minutes you have manually measure continuously three options here and alerts stress level manually or continuously sleep i don't use it so even skin temperature can be measured during sleep alerts daily activity also activity detection workouts actually it can be with alert i don't need it i don't use it inactive time also available get alerts after 50 minutes of an activity also quite nice regular feature wallet so actually i use google pay uh, you can install the gpay here and use it uh, regularly in all the countries so wallet i guess it's samsung pay and Samsung Pay is not available in my country, so actually I don't use this wallet exactly, but Google Pay is working perfectly, so you just install it and use it. Safety and emergencies. So you have medical information here, emergency contact can be select selected, emergency SOS information, so uh, emergency call to where you can select, custom number, share information with emergency contact, uh, and requires swipe to call here as a screen press and home button five times to call emergency number okay heart fault detection although available you can see here requires swipe to call to prevent accidental emergency call you will need to swipe the call button on the screen after heart fault detection play sound on both watch and phone emergency call number and de detecting the calls all or detecting the falls always uh, share information with emergency contact can be available as well. Okay, advanced features here. So you have disconnection alert, sound and vibration available, full screen alert can be activated, status indication show always height after two seconds, 
Auto launch media controls shown go in icon, so that's available for me. Remote connection uh, sends data between your phone and watch over Wi-Fi or your watch mobile network using Google Cloud Sense. Okay, calls even can be sensed by Wi-Fi. Don't use it. Bixby, although don't use it, so this we just skip. Device care, so you have battery storage and memory, two gigabytes of RAM, sixteen gigabytes of storage available, and the battery life is around two days, nineteen hours, so ninety-eight percent available. Clicking on each of it, you can see what's, for example, for storage, what uh, occupy your memory, what kind of sections like images, audio, apps, watch faces using your memory. Now it's available around 6 gigabytes. And for memory, for RAM, although same logic, it's just showing which apps consuming the RAM here. So let's wait until it will be checking. And then, for example, you can optimize your watch. You can close some apps that you are not using quite often. And actually, it's autom automatically optimizing as well by itself. It taking some time, you see, for checking. Okay, just will not uh, do it right now. And 640 megabytes available of RAM. Uh, manage content here, so you can, uh, since your tracks on your watches, you can use a gallery a synchronization to your watch as well, so you can use the photos and audio on your watch without your phone. Also quite convenient features, and it's available, but I don't use it. Uh, general settings, so just keyboards, keyboards list, I use Gboard, you can use Samsung boards, orientation, left, uh, left uh, wrist and right wrist, and button position as well, from left or right, depends on your... Uh, hand transfer watch to new phone available and uh, Samsung text to speech. Okay, we can use speech recognition and, and synthesis from Google. Speech rate also can be set it up. Accessibility features you have vision enhancement, hair enhancement. Uh, for example, you see the settings here available. Talk back and advanced settings also. Let's check it out. Double press, triple press, and vibration watch. What's this? Get the current time as vibration here. So that's quite nice to have uh, for some uh, people with some issues with uh, vision. Uh, all right. So you have about the watch and watch software and download. So let's check it out. Uh, whether it's the latest version available. Yeah, it's the latest version, One UI 6. I have already reviewed my channel of this version. Uh, it's around 2 gigabytes. It's finally this update arrived, so you can check it out how it looks on the watch itself. I have the separate video and you can check it uh, below. I will leave just the link uh, to it. And it's so many br uh, brand new features available on this One UI 6, so I really recommend to update and check it out. Basically for the reviews, that's pretty much it. So I really recommend to update to this version and also keep update your variable app. And working great, you have new features, it's optimized and with Galaxy S23 Ultra it works perfectly. So you see all the features available like camera control and all the others that exclusively works with Samsung plus Samsung, Samsung Watch plus Samsung Phone. Basically, if you still have some questions, just leave it in the comments below, put the thumbs up and see you next time.